Hey everybody, it's Rory here again, uh, bringing you another update out from out in the vineyard. Um, gonna check out, we're here at Rossi again on a much nicer day uh, than we had last time uh, with last week's update. We, uh, in the interim days, we finished suckering here at, Ro at Rossi. Um, we've actually fin finished all the Zinfandels up in St. Helena, and we're now working away over at Frank's Ranch here in Rutherford, finishing Cabernet today. And we've already made some serious progress over at Red Barn as well. So suckering keeps going, um, the vines keep growing, and bloom continues. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to show a couple things that are happening right now. Uh, we're going to check out the same Cabernet Franc uh, vine or one really close to it and check out the progress of bloom. So let's check it out. So if we get in tight here on this vine, we can see that there are a lot more white flowers on this vine than there were last week. So especially if we get inside the canopy here, there are white, white flowers everywhere. And so this Cabernet Franc is in pretty much full bloom. Now, the flowers often occur where they'll occur first on the end of a cane. So out here in that cluster that's in the center of the screen, and they'll kind of work their way in towards the spur. It's just sort of how the sap flows in the vine. You'll often get a lot, of, a lot more progress early in, uh, in the clusters that are outside and, and kind of on the ends of the cane. Actually, I'm going to see if we can get in here and get this thing to focus on it correctly. But if we get in really tight, we can start to see, you know, edit this to point it out, we can start to see some actual nascent berries. Little flower clusters that have actually finished uh, going through bloom and have now started to set. So one other cool thing that we're doing right now is putting out lacewing cards. And this is an up close shot of a lacewing card. You can see all the orange stuff is basically food and uh, a kind of sticky substance to get the eggs, which are white in the, on these cards, to uh, stick to it and give them kind of a little bit of of uh, way to grow. So out of each of those eggs is going to hatch a lacewing larva. And lacewing larvas are basically like voracious predators that eat leafhopper limbs and eat uh, all sorts of bad bugs. So it's a really cool form of uh, natural pest control. Now this little card here We've got to cut up all by hand, um, so I put my uh, put my kindergarten skills to work like mad, uh, cutting up lots of these cards. So this one little card like this, they come 30 to a sheet, and we use 30 of these little cards per acre of vines. So at a ranch like Rossi, we'll actually place these um, these cards once every about 10 vines throughout the entire vineyard, every other row. It takes forever but it's a way of really sending out tons of uh, beneficial insects into the vineyard and it really reduces our need to spray anything. And that, again, is just a core concept of organics is don't, you know, not spray. It's that do all the things you need to do so that you don't have to spray. And I think that uh, lacewing cards are a really cool thing that we've, you know, really focused on putting out. They cost a lot of money. They take a ton of time to put out there, but they're absolutely worth it for natural pest control. And uh, it's just something I, I think is really cool. It's cool seeing them come out and they look like little alligators and they're just, uh, they just eat everything around them. And everything we're doing in terms of setting up um, beneficial habitats around the vineyard is to encourage the adults to stick around and uh, create new generations and really have this balanced ecosystem here, which would be destroyed by any kind of insecticide. So that's another thing we avoid. Anyway, just kind of a cool thing to add on, uh, a fun thing that we're going to be doing over the next couple of days is putting these out. Thanks.